Hey everyone, Trina here. I'm going to do a little swatching video today. Um, I just got the Derwent Line and Wash set in the mail. And this is a cool set made for just for urban sketching and lens, you know, work outside. So this set comes with 12 colors. And this is how it comes. The Line and Wash paint set. Um, we have Sun Yellow, Mango, Poppy Red, Autumn Brown Port, Bright Blue, Payne's Gray, Ocean Blue, Artichoke, Meadow, Natural Brown, and Storm Gray. Um, it also comes with this little handy dandy sponge and a Derwent water pencil. And it also comes with two markers at 0.3 and point eight for drawing. Um, this set is a mix of ink tents and graphy tint um, pan sets, so I'm not quite sure which ones are which. I kind of know just because I have the pencils. Um, so I would assume that the Sun Yellow, Mango, Poppy Red, um, Paints Gray, and Bright Blue are the ink tints and then the autumn brown port natural brown and meadow <clears throat> are the graphy tint and then they also include these two artichoke and storm gray which are just pans I don't, I'm not quite sure they are not neither set so let's get started let's take a look at these so let's start with the pens first um, my goal with these is to be able to start doing some urban sketching, which I haven't sketched in forever. Like I don't, I remember doing it in college a little bit in art school, but I um, don't really do a lot of sketching in my daily life, but I wanna try, I wanna kinda do that. So I'm gonna spritz these down a little bit, some water. And we'll just jump right in. If I can get it open. Okay. So let's start with this sun yellow. That's very bright and cheery. Love it. I was pretty excited about this set, mostly too. This is the mango. I was pretty excited about this set because I've been wanting to do, like I said, more outside sketching, but I have a problem in the fact that I always want to use all the colors. So I'm hoping that this set will give me a little more focus. And you can see, let me move this down a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Um, this is the, what are we at, autumn? Yeah, this is definitely <clears throat> a graphy tint color. Okay. Let's do this color here. And they really do wet really nicely. This is the port, also a graphy tint color. Let's do, this is an ink tense color. This is the bright blue. And you can really tell the difference between the ink tense and the other color, the graphy tense. So I'm hoping this will give me some focus um, when I'm out drawing. Of course, it's right now a million degrees here in Kansas. So I won't be going out anytime soon, but I have decided that I'm going to do a little bit of urban sketching using Google Maps. This looks like a graphy tint color as well. This is the ocean blue. Yeah, it's definitely not that bright. This is one of the extra color. Oh, that's really pretty. And I just love how these all go together already. That was the artichoke. This is meadow, which is really 
quite nice as well. And this is going to be a pretty short video. I'm not good at the swatching. And this is natural brown. And then finally we have the storm gray, which is one of the extra colors. It's very light. I like it. Awesome. And now, <clears throat> although I love them in their palette form, I wonder what happens. I wonder what happens if we mix some of the colors together. Let's see what happens. What happens if you mix, like, say, the storm gray with the poppy red? What happens there? Well, they're kind of two different kinds of paint. I wonder what happens if you mix the watercolors. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Um, let's add in a little bit of this color. Oh, that's really pretty. That's like a nice vermilion. And I'm not sure that you're supposed to mix them together. <laughs> We're kind of, I'm kind of just doing my own thing. I mean, I don't see why it would matter. Except the ink tints <clears throat> does dry permanent. Um, so maybe after you mix it with something else, maybe that changes that. I guess we're going to see. Let's try this with the, I'll try the meadow with the storm gray and see what we get. I always like to mix up my colors a little bit and see what, what happens. Oh, it kind of changes it a lot. I love this port color. This is one of my favorite colors in the pencil set. Let's mix that with the green. Let's see what we get. That's interesting. What happens if we add in a little blue? It gets really dark quick. That was the midnight blue added into these two colors. That's nice. That's a nice color. Um, what happens if we add in a bit of this orange to this vermilion color? We we'll probably just get a little little orangier color. And maybe let's add in some of this green. The artichoke. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's a nice color. Let me think about that. So I think there's a lot you can do with this set. Like I think there's there's a lot of color combinations to be explored, obviously, but what if we add in that with that's the natural brown. I wonder what happens if we add in some of this gray. What we get? Now you guys can't see that. Turn that around. That's almost like a like a plum, like a brownish, purplish color. We could probably add in a bit of this bright blue in there. Let me get this color. What do you guys think? I'm gonna draw actually a line around these so we can. So this is the line and wash. Just so I can keep track when I look back at this. Okay. So I'm liking the colors. I think I think we can definitely work with these. I think you can get some pretty good washes. What happens if we add that to that? And we've got this purpley color here. So that was the um, storm gray and the poppy <clears throat> mixed with a little bit of the brown. Um, let's play around with the greens a little bit. We'll get some more greens in there. What happens if we add that to that? gonna give us like 
more of a woody brown color. Let's take this green, spin this around so you guys can see. This is usually the way that I play with my colors when I first get them. I like to see what's going on. See how many different colors I can make. So there's that green, those two, the artichoke and the meadow mixed together. What if we added in a bit more of the yellow? That's going to give us sort of a, a greeny, more of a lime green color. That's definitely an ink tint mixed with the other ones. And it looks like when you mix it together that the graphite tint just gives it a little bit. I'm not sure though. We'll see. Um, what about this Payne's Gray? Love a paint's gray. Paint's gray mixed with this color that we mixed. Pretty. What if we just did like a paint's gray mixed with this gray? And then you've got this color. Oh, that's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. That's a really nice color. Should we keep going? Um, let's add in some of this artichoke with the Payne's gray and the other gray. It's kind of a nice subtle gray turquoisey color. Let's add this Payne's gray into this green color, the green yellow, this guy. And then we're gonna get something grayish green color and again I'm not sure if these were meant to be mixed but you know I don't see why you couldn't mix them otherwise why would they sell them together so I added in a little bit more of that bright blue give us this little color here and then what if I added in just a little bit more Take us back here. Ooh, that's pretty nice. What if I added in some green to this color? I gotta remember to turn this around so you guys can see what I'm doing. So adding in green to that color gives us this neat color. Sort of a greenish turquoise. Um, what about the ocean blue? They mix really well together, actually. I'm very impressed with how they mix together. What do we think about that? Okay. So, these are the Line & Wash Derwent paint set, and I'm gonna do a little sketch later, and when I do, I'll link it above so you guys can watch that too. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy your day, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.